hour and a half. We're going to do an hour and a half stream today. I'm in a good mood. Let me share it. Aaron stuck with this. The first one, boys. Sharing the love. I'm in a good mood today. How you doing? How you doing? Thank you, Travis. I appreciate it. What's up, Grat? How you doing, boys? Guys, remember, if you are a senior crew member, send me your picture because I will put it up on the stream. That is part of your perks, boys. Justin, you yeah, boy. Just making sure everybody's doing good. Just making sure everybody's doing good. Honey, buddy, shiny, buddy. I'm in a good mood. Baxter, I'm in a great mood. Howard, how you doing? Uh, the East Coast, man, it's coming quick. Look at it. 341 out of 400 patrons. The 400 is a new goal, and that is so that the DDFM Crew Manual, which is a full-on website, ddfmcrew.com, it will be free for everybody at 400 patrons. At 500, I'll be traveling all over the United States, and then hopefully... Hey, who knows? Maybe we can make a new one at 750, 1,000, whatever, or travel the world. Doing my best to breach some language barriers. <laughs> Goals to make you guys safe, and, I, and I'm so happy you guys are helping me out with this. I'm in a great mood because the Indian FTR 1200S has shown up at Indian Motorcycle Tucson, and I might be getting a new bike tomorrow. Gratos. Kratos picking up my Rebel 500 this Friday. So freaking excited, boys! Yeah, I'm I'm with you, man. Congrats! Rebel 500s are amazing. I'll be getting a van. I finally decided on a van, guys. I decided on a van. The new 2020 um, Ford Transit Crew vans. They don't. They're just being announced, but. They have an option of all-wheel drive, so I'm really excited about that. We'll see how much they cost. If not, I'll get something used. But, man, I cannot wait. Bassingler, uh, hey, Dan, my son was very excited the other night when you said hi to him. Hi, man, he's watching again. Hey, Bassingler 78MH is son. How you doing? Hope you're having a good night. Hope you're having a good day. Hope you have a better day tomorrow. Thank you for watching me. Dan Dan the Van, man, Van, Van, Van Dan, Sean Claude Van Dan. So yeah, today I am celebrating. So we're gonna be doing an hour and a half long stream. Normally this was gonna start at seven, but I'm gonna go ahead and do an hour and a half. I just passed my nose course and got my enforcement this weekend. I was used to it as an example of multiple exercises and proper head turns and posture. All thanks to you and your videos. Ming Da, yeah boy, congrats, congrats. Oh, uh, Jennifer Bridgman, not yet. I haven't. I'm still planning. I'm still planning. Once we get past 400 patrons, then I'll really start making it serious, um, and I'll start planning. And then once I actually get the van, it's gonna happen quick. Cause like, as soon as I get the van, I want to like outfit it as best I can, at least at minimum for the bike, and then uh, just start doing it. Maybe pick up some things on the way. Guys, we're about to start. Oh yeah, F uh, Florida is definitely a visit. Who knows, I might hit all 50 states. Oh snap, boys! What is up everybody, Dan, Dan the Fireman here. I got like all these different logos on me. Some new things around here, some new things. I got my uh, Progressive Moto Club hat. So guys, if you haven't checked out Progressive Moto Club on Instagram, make sure you at Progressive MC. I also got my 520 Moto Alliance uh, t-shirt. I got a bunch of new things here. I got my Moto Club 
bandana. Indian motorcycle stuff. My beautiful wife helped me set this up. And we hit 90,000 subscribers, guys. We're at 90,292 subscribers. We're about to hit 1,000 or 100,000. I cannot wait. It's going to be awesome. Hey, Aaron Stuckless, boy. First time on a bike tomorrow. You're going to have a blast. Everyone say, have fun. <laughs> <laughs> you're gonna have fun man you're gonna have fun i might take this off because it's 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 hard with the with the thing a thing uh, but i just want to say thank you guys i just want to say thank you guys so much for all the support and everything we're actually going to get into it so if you're brand new to uh how we do these streams let's go ahead and switch over to this one right here let me take off the hat there we go if you're new to these streams wow we had a super chat within the first like three seconds of the stream that is insane that's how you guys can support and once again uh get your beard products from rightbeardcompany.com or support what we do over at patreon.com slash stand of the fireman let's see right there it says right there let's see if we can hit 345 patrons only a dollar a month all right so if you're new to the streams what we do is uh we go over motorcycle accidents on these motorcycle accident compilation videos that are so popular all over the world and on, on the YouTubes and World Star Hip Hops and all that stuff. And we basically kind of diagnose what happened, what went wrong, so that we can learn from their mistakes. And so if you're a YouTube AdSense, if you're if you're a YouTuber, uh, or not YouTuber, if you're on the YouTube team deeming this uh, inappropriate or not uh, good for advertisers, which seems to happen a lot, guys, this is to you. We're trying to make people safe here, okay? This isn't us messing around, all right? So please let ads run so I can keep doing this. Or go ahead and make it to where no ads run, and I'll just have uh, my badass boys, Aaron Stuckless, and everyone else with the Super Chats helping support. So anyways, anyways, we're going to be jumping into this. Um, and I'll be looking at this. Uh, oh, Sonora Nissan's calling me. I don't care. No phone calls, boys. No phone calls during the stream. So I'll be trying to, my best to pay attention to the chat, but... Um, oh yeah, let me let me uh, let me post a link to you guys. So it's gonna be the first link in description. I actually made it very easy. I made it very easy. So links for everything is in one link to rule them all. All right. So beginner motorcycles, beginner motorcycle tips .com. Hey, lady Tao, how you doing? All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go over this, and we're gonna watch the first video, and then I go back and we do it. So we watch it all the way. I think I've seen this one. Yep. Oh, I think Whoa, James! James, boy! Send me your picture, man. You get That's part of your perk. You're going to get a bunch of stuff. Thank you so much for the super chat. Oh, or not super chat, but for the Patreon. I think we just hit 342. Everyone say congrats. Yeah, Rat, uh, Rat got engaged. I saw that. I saw that. Congrats to Rack Attack. The Hata Beta. <laughs> yeah, scared the crap out of you, Jenny. Sometimes it does that to me too. Um, thank you so much. Make sure you hit that like button, guys. So let's rewatch this one. This one's a short one. So he stops and rear end. All right. The bed. Oh. There's not much he could have done there. Oh, the hit. Ha. <laughs> All right, so that was a case of rear getting rear-ended. Now, this is one of those situations where it's a little bit difficult to prevent, but you have to start thinking in the behavior of what other drivers do. Okay, so let's just take you for example. Just, so just think about it yourself. You're going up to a light. It's, uh, it's red, and you're going to make a right-handed turn. What are you doing? You're pulling up. You're looking left to see if you can go, at least here in the United States, seeing if you can go. You made a full, complete stop, but you're still looking. You're still looking, and you make the mistake of just hitting the accelerator and going through the turn without really looking where you're supposed to be going. Boom, you hit a motorcyclist. That is kind of what happened here. Is this, this The driver behind the motorcyclist either expected the motorcyclist to go or didn't see him. Therefore, when it was their turn, they think it's their turn to go. So they're looking down. They're looking over here, seeing for cross traffic, and then they start moving, creeping, 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 and they see an opening. Boom, they hit the accelerator, and they hit the motorcyclist. It could either happen to a motorcyclist or it can happen to a car. This is a very common accident. So as a motorcyclist, how we can mitigate this 
is get out of intersections as quick as you can. If you have an opening, get out of there. Um, remember, we are pretty fast on bikes. We have the more powerful, more acceleration uh, than most cars on the road. So let's use that. This is one of those situations where we want to use that to get out of the way. Get through the intersection safely. Don't feel pressured, but get through it safely. And then go. Never trust the driver to do what they're supposed to do. I don't. All right. All right. So let's go ahead and watch it. Let's finish it off. Oh, somebody just got a DDFM crew or DDFM training manual. Oh, the bed. Somebody just bought oh. a DDFM training manual. Thank you. Somebody's out there trying to get safe. Oh, how you doing? Oh, didn't expect that to happen this morning. Didn't expect that to happen. Oh. See, they're apologetic. I could have swore I've seen this video. Did I see this one already? One second. You know what? I've just, I think with these motorcycle compilations, they just show. I haven't seen the whole video yet. Uh, that's why it's new to me, so I can actually see what you guys see. But it seems like they use a lot of the same crashes. There's not so many crashes out there. So let's see what happens. And once again, I'm going to be, uh, it's after the ride, basically, where I'm not riding anymore. I'm at home, nice and safe and sound. So I'm going to have myself a nice beer. The beer of the night is, let's go ahead and switch it over to this. The beer of the night is an Oscar Blues Brewery Good Night. Imperial Red IPA. It's one of my favorite beers out there. Um, Oscar Blues is a wonderful company. I love their stuff. I would really like to get sponsored by them because I had their little mama, mama's little yellow pills or pilsner. Oh, Samuel, boy! Thank you, Samuel. Samuel. 343, guys. Two away from 345. Um... But you don't have a beard. Oh, the beard Meng Da is a YouTube thing. Meng Da, that's a YouTube. So if you click uh, below where it has that monetary symbol. Um, in fact, I'll go ahead and get the link for you guys. Uh, that is a YouTube thing. That is a YouTube thing. That's uh, $4.99 a month. And you get a mustache to start and a few other things that go on with that. So let me go ahead. I'll post that. So YouTube member. Boom. Oh, Daniel smiles, man. What happened? What happened? Uh, okay, so let's watch this one real quick. We've already seen this one before, but... Man. He's in pain. I remember this one. He, like, barely yeah, can no. walk. Oh. Rocky Lewis! No. Yeah, 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 yeah. Boy, you did do it right, man. Rocky no. Lewis! All right, we're going to go over that one. Sorry, I was distracted by all the cool patrons. Oh, didn't expect that to happen. Oh, my morning. gosh. So oh. All right, so the two most dangerous places for a motorcyclist, everybody, the two most dangerous places for a motorcyclist are intersections and curves. So you're going to see a lot of intersection and curves on these videos. If somebody crashes in a straight line, it's more than likely... They're doing wheelies, or they weren't paying attention, and it's a single vehicle accident, usually. When it's a two-vehicle accident, it's usually an intersection. All right, so they're right here. That's a freaky situation. At this point, he's like, uh-oh, that's not good. So let's go ahead and go back a little bit. Okay, so when I'm riding... I know it's kind of hard for you guys to see. This is actually terrible quality. It's there. Let's do 1080p, man. Oh snap! Basil Dog Production. Basil Dog Production. You know what? This is a. I'm in a good mood. You guys are. You guys are just absolutely destroying. I'm in a good mood. Let me go look to uh, my Patreon. One sec. Let's switch. Let's switch over here. These live streams are are really off the cuff. They're not really. You know, they're, 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 they have a purpose. We're here to do stuff, but at the same time, I want to give back to you guys. I want to give back to you guys. So right now, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Who was the Ted? Ah, I dropped my magnet. So James Dinsmore. James Dinsmore, you were a, you pledged $10. Basil Dog Productions, boys. James Dinsmore, uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do a giveaway. Okay, we're going to do... We're doing giveaways for the uh, $10 and up 
patrons. So if you want to be a $10 patron or $20 or whatever, $10 and up, you're going to get yourself a magnet. DF and patron magnet. You can't buy these anymore. I took all my merch off the shops. All the stuff that I have here locally, I, I have I have a bunch of these. Um, I took them all off. So ba or, uh, James, you're going to get this. Okay, so for the next two senior or the next two veteran or senior crew members or above, so it's the ten dollars and above on Patreon. The next two will get a magnet. I'm gonna write your name down, James. You're getting one already. So I'm gonna do for the next. I'm gonna do for three total tonight. James is the first one right here. I got your name right there. Got it set up right here. You you've been my patron for eight minutes. You're already gonna get something. So swing on by patreon.com. Babe, just come on up here. Come on up here and grab one, babe. You could just come on up here and grab one. Jeebus. So everyone say hi to Nikki. That is my wife. She's downstairs. <laughs> uh, the Fivers, uh, Daniel's, Daniel Valentine's, the Fivers, um, you, get, you still get a bunch of perks, okay? But right now we're doing the giveaways for that, and we actually have some really cool stuff for June planned. Plan on giving out my GoPro Hero for Black. All right, so right here, when I look at this right here, I see a car, want, it probably has a turn signal, but I see him slow down. So when I see somebody slow down like this, uh, coming, uncoming, that either they're going to turn or they're braking. I don't like it. So I look behind them. I make sure I have an escape path behind them. So in this situation right here, I can swerve right, and there's no one behind him, and that is a good escape path for me. This was a very crappy situation. It was a blind turn, and whenever I ride, I'm like super defensive all the time. I'm riding at the speed limit, which is very hard to do as a motorcyclist, riding at speed limit. But here's the thing. When you're riding at speed limit as a motorcyclist, you have so much control. You have way more control than a car driver. So when you're riding at the speed limit, that is there for a reason. Uh, at this point, I am going almost so slow to me, what it feels like to me, that I can react insanely quick. Man. Oh. Hell. So his bike is completely destroyed. His his tire it's it's basically sandwiched. So at this point it's really good to have uh insurance. Oh. Really good insurance. Make sure you guys if you are a part of Discord and you become a patron or YouTube oh. member, make sure you link them up. Okay? Alright, let's watch this one. I don't think I've seen this. Whoa, whoa, oh, oh, oh. I've never seen this one. Oh, there's not much left. Oh, this bike is total. Okay. Let's rewatch it. It went by really quick. Hey, Levin. How you doing? I'm actually doing a video. Uh, rack. I'm actually doing a... I just finished a video. I did the editing for riding two up with a child, everybody. Uh, that's for everybody, too. But riding two up with a child. Um... Maybe tomorrow I'll do a uh, a live stream for the patrons again. Ten dollars and up is is one of the perks, and I'll just play that for you so you can have it right away. But I'm not gonna finish it until probably next week, so I can uh, re-update a bunch of stuff. But yeah, it's it's a really it's 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 all the information I gave you on um on on Discord. All right, so this guy right here uh, this is a blind turn. Can you see the rest of the turn through this right here? No, you can't because. For one, you got a bunch of trees, and two, it's there's no shoulder. You don't see an escape route. You don't see any escape routes right here. There's no shoulders, uh, no shoulders over here too. So you're pretty much stuck to this one road. I don't know if this is a a two way road. There is no center line stripe. Oh, Aaron, Aaron. You know what? Since you since you became a twenty dollar patron, you're gonna get yourself a sticker too. Aaron, you're getting a magnet and a sticker. Aaron. Yeah boy. Yeah 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 boy. Why why you do this, Aaron? So I'm gonna set you over here. Aaron A A Ron. Oh there's no you don't have two A's, it's just A E. I can't call you A A Ron. Yeah boy. Thank you, man. Appreciate it. Alright, one more. All right, so let's watch this. So he must have hit something. So let me go ahead and go back a little bit. Ah, uh, too much. All right, so he must have hit something. He gets he gets a little squirrely right here. So he either lost traction. So right now he's in the lean with the turn. The moment right there, his rear tire looks like it loses traction. Okay. 
Once it does that, he sits up straight, and you, now the the bike wants to still turn right, but he's sitting up straight, so now he's counterbalancing, which is causing the bike to turn and go straight. It's, it's like straight up. It's not turning anymore. So what happens there is that when he does that, see how he's how he's all crooked, how his bike is leaning to the right, but he's leaning left, and that's a, that's a natural reaction. That's a natural reaction. You feel like you're going to fall down, so you do that. Um at that point when you know you have traction again you just you have to commit to the turn so he goes off the road on the left side so he goes super wide he's able to hold on bounces out but then just kind of it, it dumps you know he loses all traction that's a beautiful view by the way um, loses all traction loses everything but you see how far he slides let's go back a little bit let's go back just a teensy bit Watch out for Chad. Yeah, boy. Chad, thank you. Guys, we hit 345 already. We hit 345 already. Can we hit 350? Guys, once again, remember at 400 patrons, the DDFM crew manual. Let's go ahead and ddfmcrew.com. Look, at it, it's locked. The ddfmcrew.com is locked. You have to become a DDFM patron member to receive the password. Join here. And get the password here. So I got the password already. Let's go ahead and log in. DDFM Crew Manual. This will be absolutely free for everybody once you become, or once we hit 400 patrons. And what's in here? You ask. A lot of parking lot drills. Figure eight practice. You learn how to do the figure eight. I give you dimensions and how, and some tips on how to do it. But you notice how friction zones, slow straight lines, slalom, turn from a stop. Uh, warming up your motorcycle so you can get ready for a U-turn, figure eight, swerving, emergency stop. Doesn't that sound familiar for like testing that you have to do? It is. Once again, start on a hill, body positioning, high speed turning, at home training so you learn how the motorcycle uh, controls, and then a skills test demo. I actually show you how to do the skills test demo or a skills test. And then we got all these different crew members. So if you're a $5 or more patron, send me your picture so I can put your picture up here. All right. So at 400 patrons, that's all going to become free for everybody. All right, here we go. He loses traction right there. So he's going to start sliding. Now, imagine if there was no barrier. Imagine if there's no barrier right here to the right. I know this is a very hard barrier, but imagine if there wasn't. It's a beautiful view. This is why it's very important to know how to ride before you start canyon carving. Okay, before you start having, hey Devin, thank you for the donation, boys. Thank you, Devin. Appreciate the super chat, guys. The super chat is that little money symbol down on below. Do we did it too? Became a member. It's gonna pop up soon. It's gonna pop up soon. You guys are killing it. You guys are killing it, boys. So he's gonna slide. He's gonna sup, boys. Gage, how you doing? He's gonna slide and he's gonna hit the barrier. So this is why having proper gear is very important. These are impacts. This isn't necessarily a road rash situation. This is these are impacts. So having armor inserts will help uh, decrease the newtons that are transferred to your body. Um, it's very important. You don't want to have broken bones. Boom. So he's wearing regular. He looks like he's wearing Converse. Looks like they're Converse. Looks like regular jeans. Looks like a motorcycle jacket and a motorcycle helmet. So, I I really want to see like a like the before the accident. Yeah, there it is. Doing to become a YouTube member, boys. Look, okay, it says your guys' name right here on the right. All or if you're looking at a phone, it's all the way to the left. It shows the super chat, and then the YouTube member Basil Dog Productions. But that's gonna update really soon. Thank you, Dewey. You yeah, boy, you got the pink beard. Yeah, boy. How many how many months is that? That's uh that's five months. Yeah, yeah, you re-upped. So you get your beard back. Nice. All right. Real quick, what's going on here? Ooh, that's a nice van. Um, <laughs> I want a van. What do you guys see? What's wrong right now? I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one up to you. I want you guys on this next one to come up with your own things. Okay. I notice we have a lot of sidebar conversations going on, which is perfectly fine. We're all here to hang out, and I'm here to just show you some crazy crashes, and we can learn from it. But on this one specifically, I haven't seen it yet. I don't know what's going to happen. I have no idea what's going to happen. Let's actually go all the way back to the beginning. I want you guys. Boom. That's the absolute beginning. I want you guys to pick out right now what you see 
Just start naming things out. Just start naming things out right now. What you see that could be an improvement that you have control over. No gloves. Okay. Very good. No gloves. I keep getting messages. Who's messaging me? Babe, are you messaging me? Nikki's Ventures. <laughs> no gear, no jacket, Squid Jones riding on painted stripe. Very good. Way too fast riding blindly, no PPE. Very. I like the use of the word PPE, personal protective equipment. Uh, Levin says no jacket, exactly. His key ring neck thing, yes, uh, the lanyard. I'm, I'm, I, was, I was waiting for somebody to mention the lanyard. That right there could get caught on the throttle. It could get caught on the throttle. Um, it's one of those issues that I have. So this is the Insta360 One X. Um, it, it comes with like a protective case, and it has a lanyard to it. There's been a few times where, um, like here's here's the here's it in the case. There's a few times where I'll start recording and I'll just wrap this around the base, but then this thing's flopping around. I've actually had to stop a few times and like I'm this is not safe. This is stupid, Daniel. Stop being dumb, dumb. So make sure you don't have your lanyard flying around like that. It can actually catch on something. All right, so we're gonna do another. We're gonna watch a little bit more, and I want you guys to do the same thing. I want you to point out what you guys see, and. Every time you guys comment, I need I need to see a like. You guys need to like this stuff. All right, so watch this one a little bit more. One Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four. What did you guys see during those uh, four Mississippis? What did you guys see during that time? I can go back a little bit. I want you guys to tell me what you guys saw that could have been an improvement. All right, so let's watch it again. Right here. There we go. What do you think he could have done? Maybe a little differently. Moving way too fast for the traffic. That's one. Very good. How high do you think his risk level is right now? I want you to take a quick thought about that. Speed in hand, not covering the brakes. Okay. Okay. Do you hear him humming? You hear him uh, singing to himself? Seem singing to himself? I mean, that's that's perfectly fine. People do that all the time, right? But does that mean his mind is 100% there? He's white knuckling. I see that. Definitely want. So, what do you do, Rack? This I'm leaving this one up to you since you're teaching eleven everything. <laughs> Why is white knuckling bad? Swizzard0922 just subscribe, boys. Why is white knuckling bad? Why do you not want to grip those handlebars extremely hard? Think about that. I'll give you one hint. I know there's a delay, but I'll give you one hint is that you want to be what when you're riding? You want to be what when you're riding? What do you want to use to solidify yourself to the bike other than your hands? Slows your response time because your body's too rigid. Yep, that's one. So one of the main things, you want to be loosey-goosey, Kratos. Stiff, if you stiffen your arm, this is the best way I could demonstrate it. Okay, let's go over here. Let's switch this out real quick. No dancing. Yeah. I, Bruce. Ha ha. Best way I can demonstrate it. Okay. I got a pe piece of paper. You guys could do this at home. So have 11 do this. Have 11 grab a piece of paper. This is very important. I want you guys to grab your piece of paper. One second. Let me have a little sip. Grab a piece of paper. Grab a pencil or pen. Okay. Real quick. Real quick. I want you guys, and I'm taking my time so you guys can have this stuff. I want you to grab a piece of paper and a pen. I want you to sign your name like you normally would, like you sign a check. Like she signs her name on tests, you know. She signs her name on paperwork, and or not paperwork, homework and everything. Okay, so sign your name real quick. Okay, I just signed my name. I just signed my name. I said my name, said my name. I just signed my name. I, I did it. I was like boom, 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 boom. Nice and loose, right? Now everybody and you can always go ugh, I'm like tangled in cords now same thing right underneath it okay let me get a little bit up here I want you to tense that arm 
I want you to tense that arm like you're white knuckling this this right here. You're white knuckling the pen. Okay, you're white knuckling the pen. Sign your name right underneath what you just signed while you're white knuckling that pen and your arm is tense. Let me go ahead and try it. Okay. There's my there's my top one. The top one is nice and loose. The bottom one is me super tight and tense. It's not so smooth. It's not so smooth. And that is what you're doing to the handlebars. You're putting in really tense, really tight inputs. Okay? You're putting super duper tight inputs. Is it easier just to do a nice little signature? Or does it take more time? Which rack you're right on this. Does it take more time to when you're tense? Imagine trying to make a nice smooth turn when you're tense, right? Imagine applying the brakes when your hands are so gripped tight, you now you have to release and then reach for that brake. So being tense is not good. So how do we prevent that? What do we do instead? We grip the tank with our legs. We grip the tank with our legs and we apply a little bit of pressure. Anybody here is old enough to have their school teacher. Seriously, I don't know if they still do this anymore. Anybody here is old enough to have their school teacher while you're writing something with your pencil that they come up behind you and they try to pull it out of your hand. Anybody remember that? Anybody remember that when you're writing, when you're writing something down and then a teacher comes behind you and they're they're supposed to be able to just yank it over out of your fingers without any any problem. But if you're holding it super tight and they yank it, it pulls your hand up. Anybody remember that from school? I swear I cannot be the only one. That right there is the same concept, same exact concept. You can't grip the tank with your legs. Another thing that you can do, um, since a lot of forward controls, you can't do that, is really just kind of be loose up upper body from the waist up, be loose, but then really pr apply pressure to those pegs. Apply pressure to that tank, and that will really help. All right. I guess I'm the only one that came to that. Stay loose, stay loose, stay loose. Be loose, everybody. Very important. Very, very important. All right. Let's watch this one again. Well, let's let's actually watch it. Sorry, we had a little uh, discussion on uh, on how to be loose. Uh, this that was a that's something that I teach in class. That's something I teach in class. Or it's not part of the curriculum, but it's it's an example of how to stay loose. That's how I show people. Um, but it's 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 it really does help. All right. So let's watch this. I remember this one now. She turned in her homework on Discord. <laughs> so what happened there? What happened there? I want you guys to tell me what happened. What could he have done to prevent what happened? Yeah. Right, we've seen this one before. We've took we've seen this one before. Uh, he took his hand. He took his eyes off the road. What do I tell you guys whenever uh, we see any of these like <sighs> road rage incidents? Right? We see these road rage um, incidents where people will do this. Like I got cut off, man. They're like, "What's what are you doing, man? What are you doing?" And I'm just like sitting back, cringing super duper hard, thinking to myself, "What's in front of you?" You're traveling 20, 30, what's 30, let's say 35 miles per hour. Let's see. 35 miles per hour in feet per second. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. You guys, under, you guys know what, you guys know what it is? So let's say he's going 35 miles per hour. He's traveling 51.33333, repeating, feet per second. So it's, it's, he's, he, that's how fast he's going. Per second, without even looking. Yeah. Make sure you are looking where you're going at all times. Or do a quick head check. Very quick head check. Do not sit there 
staring at these people, especially when you're like, oh, you almost hit me. Well, guess what happens when you're like, oh, you almost hit me. You hit something. Possible broken fingers. More than likely broken fingers. That's where that... that, that. More than likely broken fingers right there because you wanted to stare somebody down. Where'd my beer go? All right. So that's not good. That's pretty dumb. Uh, lane splitting is not the problem. Uh, lane splitting could have been absolutely 100% safe in that situation. Let's go back to that, actually. So lane splitting is it was not the problem here. So he's going over here lane splitting. He's going a little fast for it, so he's not doing it safely. But right here, just if he kept looking straight. Okay, so right here, if he kept looking straight and made this right here. So he's playing with the horn. Right here, the horn's not going to really help you too much. Get Just get out of that. Excuse me. See all this room he has up ahead? See all that room he has up ahead? And he even has a ton of room over here. So this car right here is obviously stopping if he was paying attention because this bus is stopping. So he had all this room just to go and not worry about this. Green light, this car's going to stop because the bus is stopping. This guy's being dumb, dumb. Don't know why he's switching lanes. Maybe he's swerving out of the way from somebody else. Not a big deal. Chain reaction, cause and effect, everything. Get out of the way. So lane filtering was not that big of a deal in this situation. It's just the fact that he was doing it unsafely. And his behavior right here caused himself to be in an, in an accident. He should have known that the bus was there, right? And he almost hit those people. All right, let's watch this one. Group ride, group ride. Oh. Look how far he goes. Okay. Please keep playing. I want it to keep playing. So don't cut it off. Don't cut it off. Don't cut it off. Where's his gloves? Where's his gloves? Okay. Yeah. Hold on. Grab his bike. The whole tail, uh, bike. Yeah, dude, the whole tail going. Happened? Dude, I got it on camera. Really? Yeah. That's. <laughs> I looped it, bro. All right, so he looped it. But doesn't the SUV on the left coming into the motorcycle? Yeah. So that was his, that was his fault. Um, the 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 van's fault. Um, but at that in that situation. Remember, he's he's speeding through. He's lane filtering super fast. The guy was lane filtering really fast. Let's watch that again real quick, just to answer that question. He's lane filtering super fast. So if you think about that, the, the van, the person that's switching lanes, I don't know why they're switching lanes because the, the bus in the head, the bus ahead wasn't paying attention. So this guy wasn't paying attention. And then on top of that, the motorcyclist is going too fast for this area, especially lane filtering. So that person does not see him in time. That person does not have the reaction time of a fighter pilot. It's a normal person. So when you're going fast like that, you have to realize that you are making it harder for yourself to be seen. See how fast he's going? You're making yourself harder to be seen by going that fast. Now here's the thing. That person was still in his lane. This van right here, I'm trying to see. Maybe this, this truck pulled out a little bit. Maybe somebody did something that caused him to move, but he's still in his lane. Let's go back a little bit. Yeah, I don't know why he did that. Maybe there's a bicyclist or something, but he's still in his lane. But here's the thing is you don't want to be lane filtering with moving traffic like that. And if you're going to do that, especially at a green light, you just get out of there. Remember, intersections are very dangerous. What's up, Nicholas? How you doing? Boom! Got hit. Hey, your beard's pink. Yeah, yeah, boy. And we hit 345 patrons, guys. Right there. Look at that. BeginnerMotorcycleTips.com. You're going to get all the information you absolutely need. You're going to get the links for the Discord, the Patreon, my ebook, absolutely everything that I deem is important uh, for you guys to learn is right there. Beginner tips. Mo BeginnerMotorcycleTips.com. There you go. All right. Let's watch this one. Let's watch this one again so we went back and then we'll then we'll rewatch it with uh, some commentary on it. I just, I just 
care about the accident part. Alright, so let's go back a little bit. Yeah, if, if that van did that on purpose, he caused an accident. But at the same time, you're going to find people out there like that. As a motorcyclist, you have to mitigate it yourself. You only have control over what you do. And what the motorcyclist did was look back, not pay attention to the bus that he should have paid attention before, and completely forgot about it, got distracted. It's, it, that was is honestly the motorcyclist's fault to me. Samantha Falk, how you doing? Way too much throttle. So on this one... So he obviously loops it, okay? What I'm going to do now, so he loops it and he slides, he crashes, you know, it's just the, it's a typical high risk, uh, very not much reward when it, for me, I wheelies are cool, I bet, you know, I might do it on an FTR, who knows. Yeah, no stunt riding on, the, on open road, but they're in a group ride, so he's doing this to be an ego, it's an ego thing, so maybe his ego got ahead of him uh, in terms of his skill, so that's a big thing, that is not good. So what you need to do here is not do that, okay? This is not a proper group ride. If you notice, there's people off on the side. There's no formation. There's nothing. So this is just a bunch of people joyriding. This isn't a group ride. This is a joyride. When you see this, and this happens, I want you to understand the consequences of an accident, okay? I talk about your gear being properly fitted. Your boots will, your regular shoes will fly off your feet. Uh, crappy gloves will fly off your hands, all these things. But let's watch real quick. We're going to do this a few times. Um, we're going to watch how far he slides. That, to me, is what first caught my eye because that is what we call a mechanism of injury. What was the thing that caused the injury? How did it happen? That way we can determine what type of injuries he could have. This is why I do this. This is why I do these live streams because I'm able to pick apart these things because this is the training I had as a firefighter EMT. Is that the mechanism of injury? This is we're literally looking at mechanism mechanism of injuries on these things. I think all of you that are firefighters understand this. Um, right here, looping it up, I see a possible head injury. I see him sliding, so a road rash impacts. He he was trying to stand up while he has momentum. He falls back down, but now he has his hands out. You'll see all those things. So let's watch this real quick. Okay, moment of impact right there. So right now. His butt is sliding on the ground. He has his, his jacket, his back portion is sliding against the ground. In the split second, he's going to hit his head. Oh, maybe not. So he's still sliding. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to find a spot. So the moment he hits, looks like the shaded area of the tree, which was the shaded area of the tree was right here. See how far he went? He hit about right here. He hit about right here. Hopefully you guys can see the uh, the cursor on my screen. He hit about right here. Look how far he is. He's not done. Watch. So he's gonna, they zoomed it in for us. Boom. Right there where the shaded area is. Okay. Look how far he's gone. Then he falls back down. As funny as that looks, it's actually very, very painful. You can kind of see his, he's putting his hands down. I think these are his gloves over here, off to the right. Now he's got abrasions all over his hands. And there's an impact to his face. That is why you wear uh, a full face uh, helmet. So let's watch it again. I'm trying to figure out what this stuff, this debris is over on the right. Because I think he's wearing gloves. Yep. Those are his gloves. You know how you know why those are his gloves? You know why that happened? So in a normal accident, when you fall, you go down like this, right? You fall, you go down like this, or you fall like this, but you're sliding it with the momentum, right? How do you put on your gloves? Where's my gloves? Oh, they're in the closet. How do you put on your gloves? You obviously put them on like this, right? So if you slide, it's basically making your gloves stay on your hands. When he loops it and he falls back, and he hits the back of his hand going forward like this, it slipped his gloves off. Either they weren't properly tightened or he didn't have the right size gloves or he didn't have motorcycle gloves with a latch on it. Uh, some gardening gloves, some work gloves on a, in a workbench, they don't have latches like that because they're not 
meant to stay on you in a case of an accident because you're out there working in your garden, you're working in your shop. So they flew off him, and then when he tries to get back up, he puts his hands down. He's going to have abrasions all over his hand. Todd McBride. Past this weekend, Steve and Trina are awesome. Hi, I can't wait to start some parking lot exercises. I am so glad. Everyone say congrats to Todd McBride Jr. Yeah, yeah, boy. I'm going to do it myself. Congrats at Todd. Yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Congrats, man. Thank you for uh, signing up with Trina and Steve. They're really cool. They're really fun, aren't they? That's why I work for them. All right, so his gloves flew off. Let's rewatch that since we have a little bit of an explanation of what happened. I know we're we're only like a minute and twenty six into this video that on on this right here, but we've been streaming for forty five minutes. There's so much information to diagnose from this stuff. That's that's what I love about watching an accident. There's so much to to learn, and I'm glad you guys are here with me. Oh, that was a good. I forgot we even got to see him at the beginning. So let's actually take a look at his gear. He's not wearing gloves. Are you kidding me? Then what the heck was that that flew off? Now, what I said is still right. What I said is still right. Trust me, I've seen that stuff happen. He's wearing regular jeans. He's not even wearing gloves. What is he doing? How you doing, Keith? Keith? Okay, if you're going to be doing wheelies, wear full gear. This one's for you, Todd. I'm gonna take a nice sip for you. I just took a sip for me. Sip for you now. Congrats. Congrats. Okay, so those are pieces of gear, or uh, his bike. So this is what I saw was no gloves. It's an Icon Jet, or is that the Icon uh, variant? And then Alpine Stars? Okay. All right. Let's go Hold to on, some... grab his bike. I don't care about his bike. Let's watch Bro. this. YouTube.com, use my bed. <laughs> oh, is he going to get rear-ended? Oh! Called it. Oh, did you see that? Oh, we'll go over it. We'll go back. I saw it for a split second. I'm sorry. He's in pain. Okay, let's go back. Ooh, I saw that for a split second. Oh, that's when he got hit. Okay. All right. So here's here's number one. This is why I don't park right here. For one, there's a good chance you could get hit because you're, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step back. What do you guys see? What do you guys see? I don't want to explain it. I don't want to keep explaining it because I want you guys to learn. And and if you guys can explain it to me or into the chat, no wrong answers. Okay. Pretend we're in class. We're in class. I'm the instructor here. We got 126 of you. I only see 36 likes, but whatever. Uh, pretend I am the instructor here. I'm gonna be like, "Hey guys, we just saw this. Okay, we were looking at this screen right here. Look at this picture. What do you see when it comes to the environment and possible behaviors of other drivers reacting to that environment?" Dra Dragoon Slayer 08. He's in the shadow of the car. Okay, so time of day, time of day, right? Why do you, how is he in the shadow of the car? You see the, you see the sun flare, right? You see the sun flare off the, uh, the GoPro, right? He's driving into the sun. Sun is shining at the driver's face and he's in the shadow of the car ahead. Very good. Parked in the middle of the lane facing the bright sun. You guys are seeing that. You guys are seeing what I see. Very good. You guys are doing great. You guys are seeing exactly what I see. So the car behind him, do you think he sees this, this motorcyclist? Do you think he sees the motorcyclist? Or do you think he sees an open spot where he's going to creep into? And and by creep, I mean he's going to go into it and slam the brakes like some people drive. Do you think that's what's going to happen? Do you, see, do you think that's going to happen? So in this situation, you have to start thinking of not just how to be a good rider. Like I'm in, I'm in, you know, right here, it's like I'm in my spot. I'm parked. I have my... I'm in first gear. I'm ready to go. I was taught this in class. You know, I'm, I'm ready to go, right? You can still get hit because there's the environment. There's other stuff you have to pay attention to. You can see, you can see as a motorcycle rider, but what about the person behind you? What about that person? You need to start thinking in outside the box. You need to start thinking 
outside of you. Start thinking of other drivers. That is what's really important. That is what's really important. So when you see this, or when I see this, I see myself in a blind spot for the driver behind me because the sun's in the driver's face, and I'm in the shadow, so I cannot be seen with all my reflective stuff. And number three, I see myself in a position where I am in a collision trap. And Daniel Koo with a donation! When are you doing a dual vlog? And you are awesome. <laughs> Pretty soon. That's all up to Nikki. That's all up to Nikki. I got all the equipment. I have everything needed. I got my task cam, and I actually got her little Sony, uh, Sony uh, version of it. And I'm ready to do it. I'm ready to do it. Here's the problem, Cardo, Cardo Pack Talk. The uh, the charge port of her freaking Dewey. If you can get, I, I've already talked to. I've already sent emails uh, last Monday. Not this Monday, but last Monday. The little charging port inside her Cardo Pack Talk Slim came out with the charger, so her I can't charge anything. It literally it's right here. So I'm trying to get a hold of them, trying to get a hold of them, and they won't they won't do anything back. So her her comm system doesn't work, because uh, it's it's dead. There's a dead battery. There's I can't charge it because the piece that's right here. Anyways, uh, so you can't escape. I see that too. But here's another thing that I see. I saw it for a split second. The driver, I don't know if he's looking down at his phone right now. Right there. I think he's looking at his phone. I think he's looking at his phone. But look how much shade the car in front uh, produces. Not good. Not good. That's painful. Very lucky he didn't get sandwiched. Alright. Alright, so let's go ahead and watch this one. Oh, another one. This is the same, same situation. Alright. So it's the same situation with the first one that we saw earlier of the roundabout. Remember what I said that if you're about to make a turn, remember the other person's probably like, okay, uh, the motorcycle is going to go cool. So I'm looking for my opportunity and they're either creeping up and they're like, oh, there's an opportunity. I'm going to go. Boom. They go without looking. Bam. They hit the motorcyclist or they hit a car. That's what this situation is. So get yourself out of that situation as best you can. Yeah. It, that's pain right there too. Are you okay? He's, I think he's sitting on his bike. Okay, that was a there's a lot in that one. First of all, I think we can all agree no gear. Right? Uh, this was the car's fault. I will blame the car on this one. Oh, that was terrible. Uh, the Honda 500. Uh, are you Daniel, are you talking about the? Uh, are you talking about the uh, uh, the Rebel 500? Uh, let's see, T Rex Racing. Now parts, as in like, like you can get protective gear on this place right here. This is where I want to start getting protective gear for uh, Nikki's bike. So you can get stuff from there, but um, a lot of the stuff you can find. Like that, it'll fit for other bikes. Now, guys, remember, we, we still got one more slot. We still got one more slot. We're still doing the giveaway. Still doing the giveaway. If you're new to the stream, we're doing a giveaway for those that become a uh, veteran crew or higher member on Patreon. Right now, we have James and Aaron getting a DDFM patron or uh, James is getting a DDFM, no, not James, sorry. Aaron's getting a DDFM patron magnet and sticker. James is going to get himself a, a magnet, okay? So we're still doing a giveaway right now. If you swing on by, there's the link right there. Actually, link's right there. BeginnerMotorcycleTips.com. If you click on the Patreon one, swing on by. If you become a $10 or more patron, you're going to get yourself a DDFM magnet. Okay, we got one more left. One more left for this stream, okay? 
And then you're going to get a bunch of stuff on top of that. It's the best way to support the channel while getting stuff. You're going to get a lot of stuff back. And make sure you guys hit that like button. So right here, no gear. So in this situation, this is what I talk about. Motorcycles are inherently dangerous. Every single one that we watch, every single motorcycle. Let's go, whoops. There we go. So every single. Dang it, I keep messing that up. So every single video we watch, these are obviously crashes, right? And a lot of times it's motorcycles, motorcyclists' fault. And the reason why a lot of it is the motorcyclist's fault is because improper training, not paying attention to the road, not knowing what you know escape routes there are, not knowing what collision traps there are, not knowing this, not knowing that. These are all issues that can that happen because of motorcyclists. This specific situation that we're going to watch again was not the motorcyclist's fault in terms of the collision. Okay, this was he's he's passing on the left. He maybe should have done a little bit better, but the car that pulls out in front of him should not have pulled out in front of him. Okay, that's the mo that's the car's fault. But what can we do? What can we do to help mitigate the level of injuries that we have in case of an accident? You wear full gear. You wear full pro personal protective equipment. PPE. PPE. Okay? That is what you have to do in the just in case it's not your fault, but you still get in an accident type situation. Okay? The best way to prevent a lot of this stuff is to have proper training. But motorcycling is inherently dangerous no matter what. Just like being on the road with a car is inherently dangerous no matter what. What car car driving uh, fatalities are like one of the main causes of fatalities. You know what I mean? I think there's a study out there that's gonna prove me right on that. And motorcycle fatalities are even worse. So what can we do to prevent that? Get the training and then wear gear. Wear gear all the time, and then have the training to get out of these situations. So right here, that's the car's fault. Car should not have done that. It was a blind turn for that car, but at the end of the day, is the car is the car driver going to be in a lot of pain? Are they going to be the ones, you know, possibly scraping up their skin or getting skin grafts or broken bones? Are they the ones that are going to have that? No, it's us as motorcyclists. Let's go ahead and scroll through so we can see what he's wearing. Do you think that's the appropriate stuff? Uh, Gage, uh, send it to me on Discord, or there's a, a uh, community tab on Patreon. And just say, you know, hey, welcome. I, I, I'm new to the DDFM crew. This is me. This is, And then this could be your picture that you want, and I'll take that picture from that. I get notifications for every single post, comment, like, everything on Patreon. That is the absolute best way to get a hold of me. Uh, messaging, you don't get to send pictures, which is weird. I'm actually going to tell Patreon you should not be doing that. You should totally let people send me pictures. Um, but, yeah, post a picture if you want to do that or on Discord or send me an email at dandanthefireman928 at gmail.com. I might change my email to DDFM or something like that. I don't know. We'll see. There you go, Rack. I see it. I just looked into the uh, – I'm glad she's taking it seriously. I just saw that on the Discord rack. That's awesome. That's awesome, man. So once again, guys, uh, swing on by patreon.com slash end of the fireman, and uh, you get uh, some really cool perks, and then we're doing a giveaway. We got one more left, one more spot left. Not a problem, Aaron. Yeah, yeah, boy. Send your picture in. It's all good. And if you drop your patronage um, after you send me your picture, uh, it still stays up on the DDFM crew wall. Okay. The uh, the senior crew perk of the live stream that changes depending if you're a patron or not at that level. But if you once uh, five dollars and up on the DDFM crew wall, that stays up forever no matter what. Because that's just my way of saying thank you. I want everyone to see how badass you are. Yeah. So right here, I think we've seen this long enough. Uh, sandals and shorts. Yeah. Yeah, it's uh, flip-flop shorts, t-shirt, and backwards cap. The official dude bro bike gear. <laughs> oh, I totally missed that. Sorry, let's rewatch that again. I kept pausing it. Don't move. Don't 
Don't move. Oh, we get, we get extra. Don't awesome. Move. Yes. How you doing, okay, Crystal just Frost? Stay still. Just stay still, okay? You're okay. Just stay still. Do you have traction control on your bike? Yeah, I'm not doing that. Uh, let's see. Let's rewatch. Let's go ahead and watch and pick apart this one. Okay, first of all, I mean, it's hard to see because he has the GoPro down a little bit. That's why I take extra care in having my GoPro set up or my action cam. Well, now it's GoPro. I got my GoPro Hero 7 Black attached. Oh, my gosh, that's far away. I'm not doing that. I'm going to set it down. All right. So it's, it's hard to see what exactly happens, but also at the same time, he's riding at night. Excuse me. He's riding at night, so it's a little bit hard for him to see. And once again, we need to start thinking of other drivers. It's also hard for other drivers to see. It's just the way the GoPro is set up. They, I think he's looking straight. Right here. Uh, if I saw a car crossing lanes like that, and he's still at that angle when he's in the first lane available, because first lane available, that's, that's the lane you're supposed to turn into. Okay, so the car driver is obviously not going to straighten up and stay in that lane. At this point, it's an oh crap. Especially, it's actually before that. You can't see it because of the GoPro and, and the way he's facing is terrible. But he's probably going really fast. And you're thinking to yourself, man, he's not slowing down. He's going to go into my lane. So at this point, I'd start hovering the brakes, start hovering the clutch, getting ready to swerve. Don't apply brakes and swerve at the same time. You either do one or the other. You either break before the swerve or, or break after the swerve. Don't do it at the same time. And I would have just kept going straight. What kind of escape path does he have? He has a huge escape path. Huge. Huge. At this point, it's pretty difficult to escape. So, what is it? An ounce of prevention equals a pound of... What is what is it? Whatever. It's like that. Okay. So prevent the incident in the first place. Um, this car driver is probably sw swerving across all lanes to get into this turn lane. I bet you that's what's happening. <sighs> Terrible. Yeah. Don't move. Stay still. That is good advice. Don't move. Stay still. At this point, traffic, hopefully we'll see that there's an accident, slow down. Don't move right now because you don't your body is in such a a protective mode. Your body's smart. Your brain is smart. It pumps out those chemicals, you know, endorphins and it pumps out adrenaline, it pumps out all that stuff. Okay, your brain's smart. You know, the endocrine system, everything is all working together. Your musculature, your nerves, everything's working in tandem to where your bone could be shattered. But your let's say your femur shattered, your thigh bone, your 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 quads and your hamstrings, all those things, the vastus lateralis, all that stuff, it could be tightened up to to basically pretend that it's a bone. It's it's holding the bone together. So if you try to walk around, your bones crunching, your bones causing more damage. So it's really good to stay still. Okay. Don't move. Yes. Release is covered. Okay, just stay still. Let the just EMS take still, care of it. Okay? You're okay. Mick. Stay still. Soon. So if you guys want to know if I'm getting the Indian bike, make sure you guys check out my Instagram. My Instagrams. I did post a story on my Instagrams. Once again, all the links, if you scroll down, if you scroll down, uh, you'll see the Instagram logo. And it also Instagram is at DanDanTheFireman. You'll see it. It's actually really cool. I'll be getting it soon, boys. You have control on your bike. Oh. Okay, so I'm gonna mute this uh, real quick because honestly, I will get, I will definitely get copyright claimed, and the video could be taken down because that is uh, copyrighted music. So I'm gonna mute it for now. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it's different than getting demonetized. Demonetized, I just don't get any money on the stream. Okay, so demonetize, I just don't get any money other than the donations. And then that's what's so great about Patreon. Copyright claimed, they will literally stop my stream. So I'm going to mute it real quick. Okay, so he's asking about traction control. 
I'm sorry. This is this is gonna be for me, real quick. I want to watch this real quick. Oh, fuck! That's so close. Let's go back a little bit. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. No, his head didn't get hit. That's what I was looking for. Because if his head got hit, um, I would have just paused it somewhere else and talk about how uh, how this... I don't want to show a fatal accident if I don't have to. See, the Dirtback Lunatic, he's the one that posted this video. Um, if he, he has no problem probably posting a fatality i i don't want to post the fatality there's there's obviously kids watching so yeah i don't want to post that let's go ahead and let's go back to the the beginning that was that's a brutal accident that right there luck was on his side and it's a painful hit all right can anybody name what this big old line is why is there a giant line like this. What's this giant line mean? There's another one right here. There's one right here. There's one right here. Tar snakes. So what a tar snake is is that there's a crack in the road. Okay, so there's a crack in the road. Instead of just redoing the whole thing, what they do is they just put a bunch of tar, they put a bunch of hydrocarbons, a bunch of stuff inside here, and it's it's malleable. Okay, it's malleable. It's pretty it's pretty hard. You know, for the most part it's pretty hard. But uh, when it gets hot outside, it starts loosening up, and it gets all spongy. So imagine your tire, your front tire especially, getting inside that. So do not ride. What's an, Let's name another thing. Let's start naming things off. Let's say, start naming things off. What could also be like this? Right here, these right here, these tar snakes. Let's say this these these are two tar snakes right here. What do these also look like in a bigger city? Like in a bigger city or a city with some type of metro station. What do these look like? What what could these also be that could cause the same incident? I want you guys to think about that one real quick. Also allows me to have a drink. Thank you. Train track. Idaho's but Deadpool. Train tracks. Streetcar rails. Tracks. Drainage. That's another one. Good job. So think of these tar snakes as those rails, okay? If you get your tire stuck in that rail, if it's if your tire is thin enough, like you know width wise, and gets in that rail, this is exactly what can happen. So think of it as that, because it's a crack. It's a crack in the road that is being repaired with a tar snake, so that they don't have to repair the whole road. This is a band aid fix. I also want you to take a quick look at where the truck tires are at, okay? I'm going to tell you right now, this truck saved his life. Or prevented his death. There you go. Not saved his life, but prevented his death. See how far he is right here? So I'm going to play it. Okay, don't worry about the motorcyclist right now. I'm going to play this. I want you to look at this, this car driver or this truck driver. The moment this motorcycle falls down, motorcyclist falls down, you'll see this truck driver do evasive maneuvers and swerve out of the way from crushing his freaking head. I'm going to tell you right now, no helmet is going to save your life when it comes to one of these big pickup trucks uh, running over it. You might be. Well, I take that back. It will save your life, but there's a good chance you're still going to die. So it could prevent you from death. But, man, getting your head run over by a truck or anything like that is not good. So watch the truck tires. See how see the distance from this line right here? This is a good uh, meter. This line right here and see the distance from the truck tire. He's going to swerve into the other lane. See how he swerved in the other lane? He's way over there now. Exactly. Rack, I don't think Eleven knows what Gallagher is. You're going to you're gonna have to show her some Gallagher comedy. <laughs> All right, so let's watch that once more. And, guys, we'll be streaming for about 20 more minutes. 
And we still got one more giveaway. So I'm going to be sending this out to James and Aaron. I got you guys a, a magnet real quick. So if you swing on by patreon.com slash Danny the Fireman, sign up as a $10 or more patron. Also, on top of if you would like to support the channel by clicking um, the uh, money symbol right below, it's a super chat. It's actually really cool. All right, so we're going to go over this real quick. So he, he hits the tar snake, loses traction, actually digs into that front tire. He starts rolling. That truck swerved. You see the distance? It, the truck tire used to be right on that, that line right there. The truck used to be on that line, that tar snake. That's where this guy's head and body is now. This truck narrowly missed this person. So if you see tar snakes like that, do not ride on them. Do not do that. All right, so let's go ahead and there's not much to see about it. All right, there we go. I think I've seen this one before. Slippery road. That's what that was. Slippery road, no gloves. Probably scraped himself. So we've already seen that one. That was pretty. That one's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, he went to turn on a wet road. Not good. So we can rewatch that again for those that have never seen that one before. We've actually seen this one um, in a previous video. So he tried to turn, and it's wet, and it's like a cement. No gloves. So once again, in a situation where your your skill doesn't, it's not going to save you. The gear could possibly save you. Yeah, some of these look familiar. I'm going to start getting some older ones because uh, I've been just getting the ones that I find on YouTube search, and they must, they might be the newer ones. So I'm going to look at some of that that are like two years old, and maybe we'll find some new ones. There's some new ones and some old ones in this one. So this one I don't remember. He's in pain. Okay, I'm gonna actually mute that. I I don't know if it's copyrighted music. So he's he's de his right leg is definitely in some type of pain. All right. So he tried. He really did try. He really did try to uh, swerve out of the way. Now, I don't know what this stuff means. I don't know what these slash marks are. I don't know if this is like like a median. I don't know if this is a no-go. All right, man. See you later, Rack. Congrats. Congrats. Hope you uh, have a happy, happy, happy engagement. And then happy on after that. But uh, I'll be seeing you around, man. Thank you. Yeah, so I don't know why he's lane splitting here. Or lane filtering. No idea. Once again, just because you can does not mean you should. Just because you can does not mean you should. That's That should be the slogan of life right there. <laughs> just because you can does not mean you should. You can't go over these lines. It's illegal. So right here, he's already dumb. Dumb, dumb, dumb. There's a reason why. There's an absolute reason why. Yeah, amen to that. Just because you can doesn't mean you should. All right. Oh, let's get some audio on this one. Sorry. That one, I didn't want to play the music because, once again, copyrighted music. I don't know. All right. Loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it, loop it boy. Oh, we're gonna see a lot of this stuff. I mean, it's cool to watch the bike. That's probably why he. Uh, that's probably why he did it slow motion. Look at that thing. Is that what a bike's supposed to do? <laughs> guys, you guys, you know, you guys are insane. I'm looking at uh, Patreon. We're at 345. 
you guys are making it. You guys are crazy. You guys are crazy. We hit 90,000 subscribers. We're at 345 patrons. We have almost 9,000 Instagram followers. We're killing it. We're killing it, guys. All of us. All of us are killing it. All right, so let's rewatch that. I'm going to say one thing real quick. I am happy he's doing this out on a deserted road. It looks like there's no traffic, so I'm happy he's doing it there. Not happy about the gloves. Um, I'm assuming this is kilometers per hour because there's no way he's doing 58 miles per hour. Playing around. He took his hand off the uh, the left handlebar to, to do something, and that's what caused him to have an incident. Anybody else see that? Look at that. What is he wearing? What is he wearing? It seems like people only wear helmets to, so they can put a GoPro on it. Does that make sense? Your helmet is not a, a place to just have an attachment for your helmet or for your GoPro. And and on top of that, if you start thinking about it, you know, people buy brand new GoPros, they're like 350, 400 bucks, right? Do you think they're attaching that to a 300 or 400 plus helmet? No. The GoPro is not important. The uh the action camera is not important. Okay? It really isn't. You really need to spend the money on the helmet and gear so when i'm when i'm looking at the ftr 1200 right now okay so i'm looking at the ftr 1200 there's obviously no like sliders there's nothing out there for protection other than what indian offers right now because i'm going to get the bike i'm getting the bike okay uh, it just came in i'm super excited about it It just came in so i actually showed a lot of stuff um the bobs 9343 uh i'll answer that question real quick um so what I'm uh, what I'm concerned about is not the cosmetics of the bike. I want to get a crash protection. I want to get engine guards. I want to get sliders just in case. Just like I'm insuring the bike, just like I'm insuring insuring myself with full gear. I want my bike to have full gear, right? So that's what I'm doing. Uh, the reason why it's at 400 is because at 400, it's still gonna be 500 for the uh, for the uh, here. Let me go over here. Let's see this. Let's do that. So at 400, once we hit 400 patrons, I will release the DDFM crew manual for everyone. You, my patrons, will be helping all riders become confident and safe. So at 400, that's what it is. At 500, I'm still going to be traveling. Okay? So right now, it's gonna, it shows 400 because of that. So we're super close. And guys, it's for $1. So it's, let me click become a patron. So there's all these different tiers. All these different tiers. So for $1 a month, you get all this stuff. You get a whole bunch of stuff, guys. Access to the crew manual. $5, $10, $20, $100. We got a few We got a few legends out there. So, guys, if you would like to be a part of it, swing on by patreon.com slash stand on the fireman or, 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 or click that link. And it that link right there will, will get you anywhere you need to go. Swing on by the Discord, too. The Discord is actually really cool. Every time you do a super chat... Um, and every time you join, it actually lets people know that you join. This is actually the Discord right here. All right, we got 10 more minutes of the stream. Once again, $10 or more. The next $10 or more patron will get a DDFM patron. Let's go over here. We'll get a DDFM patron magnet. So this is a DDFM patron crew. You'll never ride alone. It's a magnet. You can apply it to stuff. It's a magnet. All right. The next $10 or more, the next veteran crew member will get that. All right, there we go. We get to look. He's got a jacket on. He's got shorts. Wear full gear, guys. Wear full gear. I don't know if uh, how you feel this, but I was wondering if you have any thoughts on CCW while on a bike, if not something you want to cover. I understand. No, Nathan, uh, we actually covered that in the Discord a few times. I've actually gotten some questions. So CCW, if anybody doesn't know what that means, that's conce concealed carry weapon. That's more than likely a firearm at that point. We usually consider CCWs as firearms, um, like knives and stuff like that. It's an EDC, everyday carry. No, I'm, I'm, I'm all well aware of that. Um, I do have my own EDC, and I have my own um, CCW that I have. And once again, it's just like anything that's in your pockets. If you get in a crash, that can be applied as leverage to your flesh. 
So depending on your firearm and how it's set, uh, it could be a pen in your pocket, it could be a knife in your pocket, it could be a firearm on the inside waistband, it could be any of those things. If you get in a crash, that impact, where if it's just perfect, it could apply that firearm, like let's say the, the, uh, the grip, let's say the grip gets applied to your skin, that is extra leverage that is being applied to your body so it could cause a puncture. So once again, you're, you're taking an extra risk to do it. But if you feel like that risk is worth it, because we all know, you know, at least in the United States, uh, Arizona is a very red state. You know, we have an open carry. We have concealed carry without a permit and everything like that. Um, if you feel that concerned, like you want to use your constitutional right to do it, then do it. You know, you're obviously taking a risk, you know, carrying. You're taking upon a, a bigger responsibility carrying that weapon, um, you know, in case there's an active shooter somewhere. You're obviously taking that weapon with you to prevent a lot of those things. So if you feel like that's more important than your own safety, you know, in case of a crash, then do it. Then do it. Go do it, man. It's up to you. That's 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 my take on it. All right, these guys look like they're having fun. And so I was gonna crash. I'm not gonna go over that one. Um. Just, just based on the fact that when people loop it, they loop it. And if you're going to do stuff like that, wear gear. Simple as that. So seven more minutes, guys. Seven more minutes. The next senior crew patron, the next senior crew, or not senior, the next veteran crew patron, which is $10 or more, is going to get a DDFM magnet. DDFM magnet. And that, that also applies for those that are $1 right now or $5 right now that update their $10 to $10. Okay. If you update it to ten dollar, you'll get yourself a magnet. What the f man? Oh, how do you do that? No, no, no! Don't f move it. Leave it right there. She's very apologetic. That's New York. Okay. Oh, stop f moving the car. Oh. Stop moving the car. Yeah, I wouldn't be happy about that. I wouldn't put the helmet on the bike in the first place. You don't move. It just cause more damage. Oh, we're getting a full on. I like this. Let's watch. Let's watch the whole thing. <laughs> smart. I love cops. They can be smart asses. So, let's go back to that a little bit. Let's go back. Well, I don't think we're going to make it through the whole video. we got five more minutes, guys. I've been streaming for an hour and 23 minutes. This was a lot of fun. I'm in a good mood. You know, in fact, let's just go over this last one, and I'll, I'll have a little discussion with you guys. Uh, so, it's, it's a red light. So, it's definitely a red light. So, let's go back to the very beginning. I like how smart-ass the cop was. That, that's how they usually are. It's like you, you can't bullshit a cop. You can't. And that's another thing, guys. You cannot bullshit a cop. Do not bullshit a cop. You can't bullshit a firefighter. You can't bullshit anybody in public safety. You can't bu bullshit a marine. You can't bullshit an army. You know, in that you can't bullshit nobody. Really, don't try. Do not try, especially people that deal with people like this all the time. Do not bullshit people. Okay. All right. Let's go back a little bit more. That sucks. But at that point, it's good to have an insurance. All right. All right. So this is not a bad spot. You know, it's not a bad spot. I personally would get up like right here. See how much room you have between this Cadillac right here and the Nissan Pathfinder. You got all this room right here. I would definitely do this. I would definitely do this. Oh, Samantha Falk. You want me to finish the video out? Uh, I would love to. I would absolutely love to, but once again, it's 8 p.m. my time. I want to spend a little bit of time with the family. I would love to. Thank you so much for this donation. I really would. I really would. Um, I'll finish this this one right here, this incident right here, and then uh, 
and then I'll then I'll, I'll talk to you guys real quick about some really cool stuff that's happening and some behind the scenes stuff that nobody knows about right now. Got very lucky you didn't get hit. Okay, so I understand you're very angry. Okay, I talk about how to survive a motorcycle accident part one. I just finished part two. Part two is actually going to come out uh, this Friday. But part one is try your absolute best to remain calm. Try it. Just try it. In what situation have you ever been in where getting angry and yelling at somebody you, oh, you might have to refresh your browser, Rosemary. At what point is is yelling at somebody ever gonna been good? You know, and I I have my own faults on that one. You know, I yell at people sometimes. You know, I'm not I'm not the guys. This is you know I'm being real with you guys here. So try your best. Try your absolute best. So maybe How the, you do that. So maybe this is his best. Who knows? So she just popped it into reverse. Do not do that. Yeah, I like what he's doing. He's saying, stop. Just leave it there. Let the cops. Let the cops do this. No, no. Don't move it. Leave it right there. So he's got his helmet on the... on the. <laughs> he's got his helmet on the bike. Okay, at this point, uh, I talk about in how to survive an accident and what to do is like you start filming stuff, like call 911 right away. So he's doing call 911. Very good, very good, very good. He's got a camera too. He's got a GoPro. He's on, on, or he's got an action camera on his helmet. Use that. Get on the phone, grab your helmet. Let's do this real quick. My helmet's still in pieces. I still have my liner all pulled apart because I did the safety talk and I showed somebody uh, what the, the, the born on date is. But like I'd be on the phone. I got my I got my GoPro. His liner's all messed up. So I got my GoPro right here. I'm on the phone. I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, cops. You know, I got the hits and stuffs. I'd be doing this. I'd be like, yeah, this lady just hit me. I'd be doing this with my my helmet. I would not put it on the on the on the on the bike and just sit there. I'd be like, yeah, I got hit. I got hit, and I'd be, like, filming everything. I got a camera right here, right? So that's what I would be doing. So guess what happens? She tries to back up. Look what happens. Stop moving the car. Now he's got a damaged helmet. Or uh, his go... Oh, sorry. I'm all doing, still doing that. Sorry about that. One second, let me go back a little bit. So right here, I'm telling him, like, you know, why do you have your helmet there? Moving the car. Now he's got a damaged helmet. And real quick, he's wearing regular sneakers, I think. Let's see. <laughs> he's upside down. I think those are regular sneakers. And the reason why I think they're regular sneakers is that he's got one of those little things for his shifter, for his foot that does the shifting. So he doesn't mar up his sneakers. You see that? You see that little section right there? Yeah. He's got a little spot. He's got he bought that thing from Amazon. <laughs> You cause more damage to your helmet. Yeah, yeah. So this is where I put the helmet. You know, if I had to set it down, this is how I'd set it down. I'd want to get the full interaction between everybody. So at this point, he's giving uh, the the officer his license and his uh, register insurance. Registration insurance and all that stuff. So he's giving the officer all the stuff he needs to get. Okay, cool. You know, do your thing. Let the, you know, this guy right here is obviously probably a witness. Not obviously. He probably is a witness. There's another officer here. Uh, police are blocking traffic. You know, they're, they're making it so you're safe. You're in a good spot. Um, maybe get his name. Get his information. I talk about this in the how to survive in motorcycle accident and what to do after a motorcycle accident. Especially if you're able to walk around like this. It's very important. Part two is coming out Friday. I like this part right here. Yeah, I stopped too. Yeah, you sure did. You stopped right in back of them. I love it when cops would say that kind of crap on scene. Like, you have to be professional. <laughs> you have to be professional when you're on scene. But, like, I'm over here. 
uh, as a firefighter, I'm over here like checking him out, making sure he's okay because he's obviously the one that could be injured. She's not. This is a fender bender, but a fender bender could be very traumatic for a motorcyclist. And uh, cops would say this kind of crap all the time. I loved it. I love it. I I just love it. Like we we all have that sense of humor. It's it's beautiful. Light no, light open, please. I don't know why you stop. So she's she, what she's trying to say is that it was a green light, okay? And he's saying no, it was a stoplight. And this is what I talk about in part two of uh, the motorcycle, like how to survive, is that um, your insurance could deny your claim. Like in this situation, a rear end situation is usually the person behind it. It's their fault. But what they say versus what you say can totally change whether you get paid or not. And make sure you guys watch Friday's video because of that. Because she's going to tell her insurance this. You're going to tell your insurance this. This is why you need a cop. This is why you need witnesses. Jeremy, uh, I wish I had a motorcycle class like yours in Ohio. I also fellow fell medic here. See, then you understand like how I talk. <laughs> I think you would learn very easily from me. And that's the great thing with uh, Ride Arizona MTC down here in Tucson is that they have uh, the contract with Davis Monthan. And so they're all military guys. Like So like I get at least like one or two or three or four military guys per class. So I can talk like this and they understand. You know, we, we, we have this... Uh, it's not a sense of humor, but this demeanor of like, yeah, we're not we're not dealing with bullshit. We're we're here to, you know what I mean? Uh, yeah, she's speaking broken English. Um, and that's that's typical with New York, you know. You know, it's 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 just it's not a reason why you know this should have happened or or you know why you shouldn't show respect. You should definitely show respect to people for in in every situation. It was red light. So yeah, yeah, guys, that was a lot of fun. So I'm over here sitting at home with my Progressive Moto Club shirt or hat. But uh, Five Two Moto Alliance, they're really cool people. I'm really uh, happy about them. If you guys want to check out the uh, safety class I put on for Indian Motorcycle Tucson. Uh, 520 Moto, these guys right here. They all showed up. 520 Moto. They all showed up to uh, help support the, uh, the safety event, the safety talk. So thank you guys. I really want to say thank you. Um, I really want to say thank you to them real quick. And I want you guys to swing on by. Okay, let's let's do something. Let's do something nice. We're. I don't want anybody to get. I don't want any of you guys to leave yet. We're, I'm calling you out. I'm calling all of you out. Okay. I want you guys to go here. After the stream, so keep an eye on that. I want you guys to go there, and I want you to just check them out. I want you, I want to almost like take down their server because we spent so much time, like you know, we just like flooded it. So click the contact. Yeah, actually, let's go over here. Let's go over here. Let's do this. Screen capture. So I'm over here on Five Tool Moto Alliance right here. And we, they just had the 520 Moto show. It was a, it was a blast. April 27th, uh, Ride Arizona MTC right here. This is what this is what I do. Uh, I, I work uh, with them, but a lot of cool stuff here. I want you to go down to here to contact us. Okay, I want you to click over here, and just say, you know what, Dan Dan the Fireman sent us, and uh, we think uh, you're doing a good job. Thank you for supporting. Uh, safe riders or something like that. I don't know something like that. It'd be really cool. It'd be really helpful It'd be really awesome for you guys to do something like that. This is the the last the next one um, So guys yeah click that moto alliance say hi to them. It'd be it'd be awesome to have you guys do that But also at the same time Everybody at the same time. Let's go ahead and swing on by discord Okay, so discord I can see who actually shows up. So Soleil. Thank you. Shabadabadu Thank you for showing up and, and stopping by. Right here. So look at it. it says right here, new YouTube super chat. Samantha Falk. Thank you so much. Thank you, Brett. Tell everyone else. Join the stream. So every time you guys super chat, it lets everybody know that you are a badass. 
Um, but also when you join up, it says Soleil87 has joined the server. It's super effective. Everyone's saying welcome, welcome. This is, how, this is the community that we have here. So I want you guys to swing on by. And I want you guys to join the Discord. It's absolutely free. The Discord is free. Okay? You don't have to pay a single cent. Oops. Wrong button. Wrong side. Let's go ahead and delete that. <laughs> I'm a mod. I can do that. I meant to post it in the chat itself. Oops. So this is actually live. This is live. I'm on here. I said, oops. You guys are on TV and live. See, this is live right here. This is absolutely live. So make sure you guys swing on by the Discord. We have a mental health section. I don't want to spend too much time on this part. I don't want you guys to have to see it. That should be mostly private, but it's free. All this stuff is free. If you're a patron, $1 more. Hey, look, it's 11. It's 11. She, she wrote in here. She wrote in here what we talked about earlier today where you, where you, you clench up your hands and everything. Look at this. You guys are all on TV right here. So thank you, Rack Attack. Appreciate it. All these orange, those are patrons. These are all patrons, founders, patrons, everything. So if you want to become a patron, you get extra stuff. You get extra stuff. You get the crew lounge. You get the camping area, the gaming section, the food and drinks. But most of it, most of it is absolutely free. So guys, swing on by. Swing on by. Right there, beginnermotorcycletips.com. And thank you guys for such a successful, successful stream. We learned a lot today. Hey, look at somebody else joined. Green joined. Green joined. Green just joined the server. Brace yourself. Green just joined the server. Yeah, there's a food and drink section. Um, it's it's in the uh, uh, the crew lounge. Sad it. Sad it. Zachary, thank you. Yeah, I'll catch you later, man. Can't wait to make some videos. <laughs> Welcome, Idaho's Deadpool. Welcome. Thank you, Rosemary. Make sure you hit that like button before you leave. Make sure you hit that like button. 